Hey everyone, Matt here with Linux Academy, and today we're gonna explore what really happens when you delete something from Google Cloud. Is it really deleted, and how can you be so sure? Also, addictive mobile games are also making the move to Google Cloud. We'll cover these stories in today's edition of Google Cloud Weekly. Now, Google recently detailed the process of how they handle deletion requests and how they make sure that your stuff is truly out of here. Now, since there are many Google Cloud services, some processes are a little different depending on what exactly it is you're deleting. For example, the process of deleting a project will be different than deleting a cloud storage object. So, how's this work? After receiving any deletion request, services which have a grace period built in, in case you change your mind, such as projects, will lock away that data, making it inaccessible to other services, but still giving you the ability to get it back if you happen to change your mind. Once any grace period expires, data is then deleted using what's called either a mark and sweep garbage collection or a cryptographic erasure process. But wait, there's more. Once the physical disk your data was on reaches its own end of life, it is fully wiped yet again and even crushed or shredded if necessary. After all, you can't pull data from a hard drive once it's been turned into confetti, right? The point of all this is that when you delete something from Google Cloud, you can be rest assured that it is without a doubt 100% gone. The entire process from start to finish is fully explained in a white paper, which we will link to in the video description. Oh, sorry, I got sucked into yet another game of Candy Crush. Man, these mobile games are addicting. Speaking of which, Candy Crush is going to migrate their game resources to Google Cloud. Now this is a really big job because King, which is Candy Crush's parent company, currently runs one of Europe's largest Hadoop clusters to manage tens of petabytes, yes petabytes, of data generated by players of its games. That is a ridiculous amount of data. Now what's important is that the ability to quickly analyze all this massive amount of data is what allows game companies to make their games just a little bit more addicting. As a result, King has been evaluating whether continuing to run Hadoop on-premises is really the best approach, and has instead embarked on a journey to move their big data analysis to Google Cloud Platform, with the migration expected to complete sometime in early 2019. Now, this is a really big deal from a business turnaround perspective, and the reason is, is that with the ability to run managed, massive, and scalable Hadoop jobs with Google Cloud services like Cloud Data Proc, King won't have to spend time working on their own on-premises Hadoop clusters and instead let Google Cloud do the heavy lifting for them. So basically we can expect their games just to get even more addicting in the near future, which may not be the greatest thing depending on your perspective. That's going to wrap up this edition of Google Cloud Weekly. Be sure to tune in every week for the latest in Google Cloud news and catch our live streams every Thursday morning on Google Cloud topics of your choosing. I'll see you next time.